New research could explain the growing number of mumps cases among young adults who thought childhood vaccines would last forever. Scientists warn that the shots may be wearing off for some age groups. The answer could be a third mump shot when somebody turns 18. Oh, no, a mumps outbreak hit the campus of James Madison University in Virginia this past winter. 19 students and five staff members got sick starting in January. And this is the latest in a series of mumps cases. Our Dr. David Agus is here to explain. Hello, Dr. Agus. Good so what morning. does the study show? Because most people think you get the mump shot, I'm done. So this is kind of a great detective story. Two scientists at Harvard noticed an outbreak at Harvard two years ago, and they said, why is it happening? So they started to look and say, is it because immunity is wearing out or is the virus changing? Mm -hmm. And the new data show that immunity starts to wear out. Starting about eight years, 25% will lose immunity. By 17 years, half will lose immunity. So another booster shot. Remember, the vaccine came out in 1967. You know, a number of cases went down 99%. 20 years later, we added a second vaccine to eliminate even lower the number of cases. Now we need to get to zero because it's bumping up to several thousand a year happening. Why are younger adults at higher risk? We've seen the outbreaks in college campuses. Because until the late or the 60s, uh, people got the mumps and they have very strong immunity. The vaccine wasn't as strong as getting the mumps. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing it predominantly the younger kids. And kids, you know, are living in close quarters together. It's spread by sputum. So kids swap a lot of stuff when they're in college. Mm -hmm. And so we see outbreaks on sports teams <laughs> in college. That's and a different medical, way to yeah. Go. Yes. I don't know. Very diplomatic way to put it. Go ahead, go ahead. I apologize. The morning no, no, show. No, no, no. Go ahead. We get it. We get it. And so, I mean, you see it in these close quarters. What Remind people what mumps are again. Mump is a chipmunk cheeks. That's all I It's a particular virus that you yeah. get these chipmunk cheeks. Right. But in about 10% of people, you can have more serious things. It can affect hearing. You can get testicular swelling and inflammation in men that may lead to infertility. And so this virus, we can eliminate with the vaccine. If the immunity is wearing off in this case, do we worry it might in other things for which people are immunized? Or is it just specifically with mumps? Yeah, I mean, you know, vaccines are obviously amazing, but they need to be improved and they ain't perfect yet. You know, we now give elderly two flu shots during the year. If you're getting chemotherapy, you get a second flu shot also. When the shingles vaccine came out, it was good, but now a much better one came out. And so we're actually giving that new one, even to people who had the old one. So vaccines are evolving, and I think that's important. It's not a failure. They're tremendous successes, but they're getting even better. So as parents are ready to take their kids to college, should they be stopping at the doctor's office on the way and giving them that third vaccine? Not yet. I mean, so it's certainly not the recommendation. My gut is it will be based on this data. The military do a vaccine, a third vaccine when you get in, and they have no cases of mumps. Mm. And so this data is really pushing that maybe we need to revisit what's happening. If there's an outbreak on campus, anybody that ex had been exposed gets a third vaccine and it dramatically lowers your chance of getting it. But I, my gut is that the, the recommendations will change. Okay, and thank you for keeping this a family-friendly show, Dr. Agus. Thank you. I <laughs> do my best.